Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick video, um, I say quick, I don't think it's going to be that quick, but I wanted to do a video about um, bullying um, and my bullying story. Sorry about the lighting, but um, it's really dark outside. So um, yeah, I wanted to do a quick video on bullying and how I've dealt with it and what's happened to me. So, um, yeah, um, quick warning, you may hear my phone go off quite a bit, I will try to, um, ignore it, but it's quite difficult because they won't leave me alone. So, um, there we go. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this video then. Right, I started being bullied in year three, so that was seven years ago now, I think, and I'm in, I'm in year nine, so I think it was about seven, six, seven years ago. And it all started with teachers that had been bullying me. Um, and this particular school wasn't that nice anyway. But the teachers were bullying me. And we had these cards. We had this card system. And it was gold, which was... We got golden time, which is basically extra play time. But you had to bring in things to play with and stuff like that. So gold, you got extra golden time. Green, you got the normal amount of golden time. Yellow, you got five minutes off golden time, and red, you had ten minutes off golden time. So, um, I used to just sit there and listen to the teachers. I normally used to sit in the back by the tables. So, right, so this was the classroom. There was like a bunch of tables at the back over here, and then there was a carpet with a whiteboard. And um, I used to sit towards the back just so I could like kind of sit under the desks because that's what everyone used to do back then. I don't know why, but I don't even know why I just said back then. Oh. Right. I used to sit at the back, but this particular day I sat at the front where I couldn't talk to no one or nothing. And this teacher just decided to pick on me. I didn't know the answer to this question, so she moved me down from green to yellow. Just because I didn't know the answer to this question. Um, so I that's where it started and the teacher continuously did that. And then in year, f year four uh, it got worse, but I had a different teacher because we moved teachers every year. Unlike high school, you have to stay with the same form tutor. But sh this teacher in particular really didn't like me. She um, used to set us all homework. I used to do mine, and she used to think it wasn't good enough. So she used to just rip it up and put it in the bin right in front of me and the class. And then normally I would finish my work before everyone, and I would have done more than everyone else. But she still thought that wasn't good enough, so she made me stay in at break times, and we still have golden time, but she made me stay in at break times and golden times just to finish the pieces of work that she had ripped up. So, um, yeah. And then I ended up moving to a different school. The bullying wasn't that bad in them two years. I did used to get picked on. Uh, I used to be really good friends with this girl. Um, I'm not going to say her name, because I don't really need to, but I used to be really good friends with this girl. And... Me and her, for some reason, fell out, and I remember this day very clearly, I don't know why, but I walked into the toilets, because I normally walk in there to sort my hair out, or at this point I didn't wear makeup, but just to sort my hair out, and she stood in there with one of her friends, and someone had just walked out of the toilet, and they had obviously flushed the chain, and when you flush the chain, there are like drips, from where the water is still like reloading into the back of the toilet, so much information. I don't really need to know this, but okay. Um, I went to lock myself in one of the cubicles just because she was there. I didn't want to walk out and make it look like I didn't go in there for nothing. So I locked myself in for like a minute, not even that. And you can still hear the dripping of the uh, toilet. And she just turned around to her friend and went, Oh my god, is she doing what I think she's doing? You know what I mean, because I... I'm not going to bother explaining it, but that's where I kind of walked out and we had this thing called the shed and it was this green shed that was full of toys that everyone had to come into, not come into, but stand and ask for a certain toys. You had to write their name down and like give them to them and then they, you wanted it back by the end of lunch. So I did that and um, I walked back into the shed and hid for most of lunch and then just tidied up after because she was supposed to be doing the shed with me but she left me and one other friend I'm still quite good friends with today and um, she left me and her in there whilst her and her friend which I'm still friends with today um, they just left 
so that's year six and year five. Um, and in year seven it started getting worse. Right, so I moved up to high school um, and my best friend, who I'm still really good friends with and we're really close, um, she made a new friend and we'll call her Alicia for the point of this video. So me, my friend and Alicia used to hang out and um, Alicia used to always try and make fun of me and this is the point where I started getting bullied for what I looked like. As in, like, I dyed my hair bright red because I didn't like the way my hair looked. I got called names for dyeing my hair red. I got called names for what I looked like without makeup on. So in year eight, I started wearing makeup, and that's where I started getting called orange. Um, she used to call me orange just because I wore incredibly light makeup, and just because I wore light makeup, she thought she'd have fun and make fun of me. She still does it today, but I try and ignore it. But she used to call me orange, and she still does. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically she just continues and she won't stop. My school is terrible for bullying. They won't do nothing to stop it or anything. So I tried as hard as I could to ignore it. And whilst ignoring it, something else happened. And it wasn't bullying, but I was, I met this guy on Facebook, and you could probably think where this is going. Um, right, I'll, I'll leave that one for another video actually. But, yeah, I met this guy on Facebook basically, and, in fact no, I won't leave it for another video. I met the guy on Facebook, and started chatting with him, he was really nice. He said he was 13 because this was only a couple of months ago, he said he was 13, so I obviously believed him, and he was actually 15, and he kept asking me for pictures of myself. I refused, and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I ended up taking this to the police, and whilst I took this to the police, all my friends, or what I thought were friends, decided to not like me no more, just because I reported this guy. This guy had his laptop taken off him by the police to see how many other girls he had done this to. It turned out he had done it to quite a few, um, but some of them said no and some of them said yes. But yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure what happened after that because I've never heard back from them. But yeah, so that was my bullying story. Um, I'm still dealing with it, but. I just want to encourage you guys to speak up if you are being bullied and not let it, like, not don't cover it up, just talk to someone, because I'm pretty sure some people out there can help you. So, um, yeah, that was my bullying story. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos, I will do as many as I can. Um, I haven't been filming much because I've been really busy, but um, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, stay cheeky, keep smiling, peace!